Hey everyone, I hope you're having a super happy day. My name is Brian Unicorn and welcome back to the art video. So guys, it's Sunday, finally, and today we're back doing a new fan art since I thought it'd be a little bit more fun than doing just an original character since last time. So if you don't know anything about my channel and you're just stopping by to say hi, well, hi people, how are you? <laughs> today we're actually doing Cure Yell from Puggy to a Pretty Cure. And I do the Pretty Cure series on a yearly basis whenever the new series comes out. And I always think this is always just like a little fun fan art for me to do because I always try to do it whenever the new series comes out before I actually see any of the episodes. So that way I can come up with my own understanding of what the character is actually like. But I did something a bit differently with this character. I actually decided to draw it after watching some of the episodes and honestly i'm gonna say after the last few seasons of pretty cure this one is my favorite i really do like hugito pretty cure and i'm not gonna give any spoilers away in this video but i'm just gonna say this is probably one of my favorites so far and that's that's all i gotta say after the last two seasons they were just a real clusterfuck and just just they were just Terrible, terrible compared to this one because the main cures always felt like Mary Sue's and they always just felt like they were taking away the spotlight. This season actually kind of redeems itself, giving the characters their own little arcs in the beginning of the series instead of just waiting till the middle. And I really do like that about a series. It doesn't just wait like halfway through to give your character exposition and plot. It's just here you go, let's start something, and then we'll move from it. So I really do like it. It's not as bad as the other series. And I say not as bad because the series is still in its running, like, beginning episodes. So I have no, like, future like, oh my god, it's gonna be great. It's still going, so it could end up being a pile of garbage in the end. But, crossing our fingers that it's not. So... Hana is actually one of my favorite cures so far, and I decided to draw her after watching the episodes. And she actually seems like a good, quirky kind of character to draw. So when going into the drawing, I decided to do something a little bit risky. I decided to look at reference pictures of actual cheerleaders to come up with a good kind of pose that she would do as a cheerleading. Now, when I did my first one, it was her being thrown into the air, like she was just doing this little pose in the air. And then I thought to myself, okay, so how is she getting thrown into the air and why is she just magically defying gravity? So I scrapped that idea and I came up with this and it was more just like, hooray, hooray, go for it team kind of like cheer that she was doing. Now, the one problem I have with doing Pretty Cure is the whole color scheme and I've noticed that when you do like online art or graphic design art you have a whole limited supply of colors that you can use in order to make this look a hundred times better but since I like to use Copic markers I have limited supplies of pinks without trying to make them look like they're kind of the same so it's a lot of practice and I also have to come up with shadow detail, and I have to come up with a good skin balance to match the pinks. So it's a bit of a kind of hard job. This drawing only took so long because it's just, it's it was just hard to plan out the whole kind of color scheme. But for the background design, I actually did something a bit differently. Um, I couldn't think of anything to do for a background because I wanted to do flowers originally, but I always thought I just, I always do flowers in everything. So I kind of wanted to do something a bit different since I have been learning to do a little bit of cake decorating at my current job right now. I wanted to take one of the skills that my teacher has been teaching me and that is filigree. And I wanted to use it as the background design on the border to do it. And I'm just going to say it's easier in pencil than it is in frosting. I could do it with pencil no matter what. But if I do it in frosting, I swear I screw up every time. It really sucks. But that's going to be the end of the video today, guys. I hope you did enjoy. 
Let me know down in the comment section what you thought of it, and I will see you guys next time for the next video. So guys, I will wish you have a super happy day, and I'll see you all next time, so bye!